First up is REST, which stands for Representational State Transfer. It's an architectural style used for designing networked applications. REST relies on a stateless, client-server communication protocol, typically HTTP. In RESTful services, we use standard HTTP methods to perform operations on resources. These methods include GET, POST, PUT, and DELETE. Each resource is identified by a unique URL or endpoint. For example, to get information about a user with ID1, the client would send a GET request to slash users1. REST is designed to be stateless meaning each request from the client to the server must contain all the information needed to understand and process the request. The server does not store any session information about the client. Additionally, REST allows for a layered system architecture where intermediaries like load balancers and proxies can be placed between the client and the server to improve scalability and security. Now, let's weigh the pros and cons of using REST in your system design. Pros of REST include simplicity. REST uses standard HTTP protocols, making it easy to understand and implement. Caching support. RESTful services can leverage HTTP caching mechanisms to improve performance. Scalability. The stateless nature of REST allows servers to easily scale up. Language agnostic. REST can be used with any programming language that supports HTTP. However, there are some cons of REST. Overfetching. Clients may receive more data than they need because the server defines the data structure. Underfetching. Sometimes clients may not get all the data they need in a single request, leading to multiple requests. Multiple round trips. To gather complex data, clients may need to make several requests. Rigid structure. Changes in data requirements may necessitate changes in the API, affecting backward compatibility. Next, let's explore GraphQL, a query language for APIs and a runtime for fulfilling those queries with your existing data. Developed internally by Facebook in 2012 and publicly released in 2015, GraphQL provides an alternative to REST. By the way, if you're enjoying this video and want the best practice website for system design interviews, check out our website at systemdesignschool.io. Now back to the video. With GraphQL, clients can specify exactly what data they need, and the server responds with precisely that data. This eliminates the problems of overfetching and underfetching seen in REST. GraphQL uses a single endpoint, typically slash GraphQL, for all types of requests, whether it's fetching data or mutating data. GraphQL relies on a strongly typed schema. This schema defines all the types of data that can be queried or mutated, providing a clear contract between the client and the server. GraphQL also supports real-time data through subscriptions, allowing clients to receive updates as they happen. Let's examine the pros and cons of using GraphQL in your projects. Pros of GraphQL include precise data fetching. Clients get exactly what they ask for reducing overfetching. Reduced network calls fetch complex related data in a single request. Strongly typed schema provides clear documentation and reduces errors. Real-time data support subscriptions enable real-time updates. But there are also cons of GraphQL. Complexity. GraphQL has a steeper learning curve and requires more setup. Caching challenges. Standard HTTP caching can't be used effectively Performance overhead, parsing and resolving queries can add overhead. Rate limiting difficulties, it's harder to implement rate limiting due to a single endpoint. So when should you use REST or GraphQL? It depends on your project's needs. Use REST when you have a simple or standard API. You need to leverage HTTP caching mechanisms. You prefer a straightforward, well-established approach. Your clients have consistent data requirements. Use GraphQL when your clients need flexible and dynamic data retrieval. You're dealing with complex data with many relationships. You want to minimize the number of network requests. You require real-time data updates. Let's look at a real-world example of REST, Twitter's API. Twitter's API uses RESTful endpoints to allow developers to access tweets, user information, and post new tweets. For example, 
you can retrieve a user's timeline with a get request to slash statuses slash user timeline. Twitter's API benefits from REST to support for caching and rate limiting, which helps manage load and ensures fair usage among clients. Now let's look at an example of GraphQL in action. GitHub's API v4. GitHub's GraphQL API allows clients to query for complex data structures in a single request. For instance, you can fetch a repository's last 20 closed issues, including their titles, URLs, and labels, all with one query. By using GraphQL, GitHub enables developers to get all the data they need without overfetching or making multiple network requests. Thanks so much for watching this video. If you liked it and want to see more, make sure to subscribe to our channel and hit the notification bell to stay up to date. Also, check out our website at systemdesignschool.io for system design interview practice, complete with an AI autograder. Thanks, and we'll see you all in the next video.